Uh, going to uh, the first chord C. The pattern is one, three, five, six. chord. One, three, five, six. G chord. One, three, five, six. Okay, so we have that down. Uh, this is a very easy, but it can be a, a powerful and effective uh, walking bass. You get a, if, you, if you speed up the tempo, you can get a boogie-woogie feel there. Okay, uh, so simple comping. Uh, we could have a whole course on comping, and uh, but we're going to keep it simple here for this lesson. For the uh, C chord, when I'm comping, I'm just going to take the C chord. I'm going to take the three and five, play on that, and introduce the flat at seventh. Right. So there's the C. Go down one whole note, and you find the seventh. So I'm just going to do that. For the C chord, for the F chord, as long as I'm in the neighborhood, how about we just do, uh, yeah, something like that. So, since you know your chords and all in their uh, root, first inversion, second inversion position, this shouldn't throw you, what we're going to do is take the uh, F chord down here, let go of the root note, take the third, and the flat at seventh, and maybe put in the, uh, the F up here. You don't want to play all four of them. It's, it's sounding kind of muddy. So for the uh, four chord or the F, back to the C. And then for the G, as long as we're here, we'll keep it bluesy. We'll just. Uh, I'll play for the G chord, uh, the third, the fifth, and the flat at seventh of the G chord, right? There's, there's G, go down one, whole step. Through in a ninth, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, flat at seventh, eight, ninth. I'll just tell you right now, we'll talk more about the, the ninth, but if you throw in the ninth of any chord, you, uh, sometimes you get more of a bluesy sound with the ninth and the flat at seventh, and then here I have the third. Okay, let's go through the 12 bars again, using that left hand pattern, and uh, some of the riffs that we learned in the previous lessons. Here we go, one, two, three, four. to get that good if not rewind and slow it down if you want to quicken it up to experiment go ahead and do that and try
try in other keys, uh, like the key of A. Okay, so play with it. Uh, you're at that point where you can start playing with the left hand and the right hand and change up the patterns in both hands. Just make sure you want to keep the rhythm steady. We'll see you in the next lesson.